Hey everyone, the release of iOS 26 for iPhone is surprising, especially since it skipped straight from iOS 18. Did you update to iOS 26 and find a bunch of bugs? No worries, this video will show you how to remove iOS 26 without losing any data, step by step. First, turn off Find My I iPhone. Step 1. Go to your settings and access your account. Next, find the option for Find My and switch it off. This is important to avoid any issues during the backup and downgrade process and to prevent activation lock afterwards. Remember to back up your data before proceeding. Step 2. Back up your data in iTunes. It's best to use iTunes to back up your data, especially if you have updated to iOS 26. Simply connect your device to your computer, open iTunes, and go to the summary page. Click Backup Now to create a local backup. If iTunes doesn't display the summary page for iOS 26 yet, check back later. Step 3. Downgrade iOS 26 with My Phone Fixpo or iTunes if you want to downgrade with iTunes. It may have to go through a lot of errors. If you want to downgrade iOS easily with one click, this iOS downgrade tool, iMyPhone Fixpo, is the one you can't miss. For your convenience, I will first demonstrate how to downgrade using iMyPhone Fixpo, then show you how to downgrade using iTunes. Method 1. Downgrade iOS 26 with iMyPhone Fixpo. Step 1. Download iMyPhone Fixpo from the bio in the descriptions below and launch Fixpo Step 2. Click the iOS downgrade to downgrade from iOS 26 to iOS 18. Step 3. Connect your iPhone to PC with USB. Follow the on-screen instructions to put your iPhone into recovery mode. For iPhone 8 and above, instantly click and release the volume up key and then the volume down key. Press and hold the side button until you see this. Step 4. Fixpo will detect your iPhone system and show you the available iOS firmware version to download and downgrade. Click the download button to get the iOS firmware for downgrading. When the firmware is downloaded, click the Start Downgrade iOS button for Fixpo to begin downgrading your current iOS version to older iOS. In a few minutes, the downgrading process will be complete. If you don't want to see the second downgrade method, please click on the timestamps in the description to jump directly to step four, where you will be shown how to restore your iPhone's previous data. Method two, downgrade iOS 26 with iTunes. To downgrade using iTunes, you must search and download the IPSW file manually. Visit IPSU.me to find the iOS files for your iPhone model, download the file, and wait for the process to finish. Plug your iPhone into your PC, open iTunes, and navigate to your iPhone. Hold the Shift key on your keyboard and press Restore. Select the restore.ipsw file that you downloaded. Wait for the restore to complete and the iPhone to reboot. If you encounter an error or file support issue with iTunes, you can try using the first method of iMyPhone Fixpo to downgrade your iPhone. Step 4. Modify the backup. After the downgrade is complete, you will see your iPhone has been reset. Now let's start restoring backup data. Click Transfer your apps and data from Mac or PC to connect your iPhone with computer. If you backed up your data with iOS 26 and now your iPhone is back to iOS 18.51, some modifications are necessary. Go to the Restore Backup page in iTunes, hold down the window and R keys to open the Run dialog box, type in percent data percent and hit Enter Navigate to Apple Computer mobile sync and open the backup folder. The backup we created should be the most recent one based on the last modified time. Inside the folder, scroll down to the bottom and find the info open it in notepad press, Carlin F, to open the search bar and search for the word product. Not too far down, you'll see the product version. If you downgrade from iOS 26, it should say 26, and you can change it to iOS 17.51 or the version you downgraded to. Then tap Control and S to save the file. Now we can go back to iTunes and start the restore process. Click on Restore Backup and select the backup we just modified. iTunes will restore your data, your iPhone will restart. Now you can see that all the data, including apps, photos, have been restored. And your iPhone is now downgraded to the version you want. Enjoy your iPhone. Now let's check if your phone's data is still intact. 
Look, all the data and apps have been restored. Successfully removed iOS 26 without any data loss. All right, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you found these tips helpful, feel free to share them with your friends. See you next time.